Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one and only Silo Man coming from a launch control center of a former Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile site, site outside of Roswell, New Mexico, USA. Well, for about the next nine minutes, I'm going to be taking three taking you through the rest of the underground pictures. We're going to be looking at the utility tunnel, which you see right here. You can see all the debris that we pulled out of the sewer sump, which had been thrown in there. Here we've got it. We've got the utility tunnel cleaned up. The utility tunnel connects the launch control center and the stairwell to the blast lock to the silo. Now through that doorway at the far end of that picture is the silo. Here's looking the other way towards the stairwell and you see the very large fire and debris door. Here's the locking mechanism for the fire and debris door to the utility tunnel. Here's what it looks like after we got it cleaned up, painted, and we're running the electrical now to the blast lock. You can see these two open doors. Through that final door is the silo. It had two sumps. We've gone ahead and just cleaned it up. This is looking again towards the the blast lock where I'm putting in an office. This line that you see right here is the water line that we have coming in from the, the, uh, the 1,000 gallon surface tank that we've installed. And you've seen that from some of the exterior photographs. I went ahead and just snaked this through that six inch line because at this point we're about 40 feet underground. Down in that stump, sump, I will be installing a jet pump which will pressurize all of the plumbing that you've probably already seen in the manifold we've already constructed. Right now I'm just putting in the shelving for right now over that area that we're going to be using for storage. And you can see the other side we've already completed that. We've got the monitors and we've got the, the boards on it. Now we're starting to put our equipment and material on. back side of the wall right there is the, the little blast lock. Originally there were two giant blast doors just like the ones that you saw earlier. Uh, they have been removed by the salvagers, believe it or not, ripped off from the hinges and are at the very bottom of the silo. As a kid we used to play down there and stand on them and they're still there. I hope to be showing you pictures uh, in the future. We're going to be shooting quite a bit of video I'm going to say in the next month, we'll be starting a lot of the video downstairs in the silo. Here you can see some of the work that we've done. Here's the bottom of the stairwell looking towards the utility tunnel and the fire and debris door. There it is. From the other side, you're looking from the bottom of the stairwell. You see the emergency backup lights and the, then the exit signs. That's the top of the sewer sump. We built that and put that in. We're, we've got a lid that goes over it. We'll be putting in, already have, but from this photograph, we'll be putting it in. This is the blast lock area between the two doors uh, to the silo. This is from inside that blast lock looking back to the utility tunnel. And here you're in the blast lock area where I'm making this into an office. You can see I'm running some of the electrical. I had a, I had a complete server. Uh, down there and we were triple redundant in terms of power and, and which made it pretty nice at that point at one at one point I should say that that uh, uh, I was backing up uh, electronic uh, computer data so here you can see the, some of the fire uh, detections uh, conduits and some of the other electrical lines shelving that I've just put in and I went ahead and believe it or not, I even have some ter had some terracotta tile that I put down just because it came out of one of our office buildings years ago. Had it extra and decided to put it down. There's some of the shelving I'll be putting in. It must have been, a, they really tore up the walls in here. And I'm not sure if they, they weren't using some type of a cable system. Uh, and they were pulling a lot of the beams through the utility tunnel when they were salvaging it. And they tore a lot of these spaces up, so I had to come back in and use quite a bit of filler to try to bring it back out and make it smooth. 
and you can see some of that electrical running through and then I come back and paint. Here's the final doorway going into the silo itself. And looking back, you can see that. Again, the other side. This is where that desk was located, the computer. The server rack was on the right hand side. Then there's where it looked like we were putting in that shelf. Final doorway to the silo. Then as I was completing all of the electrical, you can see how we ticked and tied it in. That's how it did look. You can see where we had to fill it in quite a bit. That was originally a cableway to the silo. There's quite a big sump that was below your feet. This is what it looked like when we put that door in. Of course, building up the, the top of it. Running the wire, the connectivity. There'll be another desk on that side. At one point, I had uh, commercial uh, satellite, plus we had Wi-Fi. Thank you so very much and hope you have a great day.